Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. How you guys doing today? I pray that you are well. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you are keep speaking life. I pray that you seek God every day. A closer to relationship with your Father. Hallelujah to His name. Oh, come on somebody. Praise Him every day. He woke us up this morning. He keeps us in our right mind. He puts food on the table. Shelter. Hallelujah. He keeps your family. Hallelujah. He keeps you. He keeps you in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Father God, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for everybody that's when, in the sound of my voice. I pray that you are experiencing a relationship with God like never before in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I decree, declare that you shall become men and women of God that he have called you to be, not with understanding and holding nothing. Oh, come on, somebody, because sometimes when you don't understand it, you don't want to do it. But God have called you for such a time as this. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. And I want to make a disclaimer. I am not, um, how could I say this? If you go back to the Holy Bible, every prophet they said what thus said the Lord. Now I'm going to go ahead a little earlier on. When the Bibles were first made, first the King James versions especially, every prophet before the prophet book, it would say the burden of the Lord. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. It would say the burden of the Lord. And what that meant is that the prophet had acquired the burden of the Lord for the people. He had the people in his belly. He knew their pains. He knew their secrets and, and God would say pray for them come on somebody hallelujah remember Abraham Abraham was not really labeled a prophet in the Bible but I think that he was the first prophet because you remember when he was said it, it would you destroy the city if it was ten father God righteous ones five come on somebody so he was also called the friend of God hallelujah uh, and I'm saying all this to say that when a prophetic or apostolic person that has the apostolic anointing don't think that they are just hating on people don't think that they are just being mean and saying ugly things we are living in biblical times all over again where you must say what thus said the Lord even if it feels uncomfortable even if it's towards someone that you like or care about or think is a great preacher or teacher because one thing about it we are all under judgment we are all have to give a count to what we do, what we don't do, what we say, what we don't say. And God is uncovering everything in this hour. It doesn't matter even if I was doing something. Come on, somebody. And I'm telling you just the way it is. Judgment is in the church. Judgment is in the house of God. All our houses. And he is saying, get it in order. And by exposing things, he's getting it in order, believe it or not. So I'm going to say some things on this broadcast. And um, a lot of you, some may be insulted. Some may feel, wait a minute, I know she didn't talk about my pastor. Um, let me tell you something right now. God bless you. I say God bless you. Hallelujah to his name. So... The title is Gay Famous Preachers in the Pulpit. When Bishop Eddie Long had came out, well, had been found out, what I found out is that this had been going on with the famous preachers for a long time. There are so many secrets that you have no idea. In the spotlight, they preach, they teach, you love them, they so say love the masses back. But behind closed doors, in the secret party, secret place, they remind me of the elite. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I was trying to tell you that the LA and some of you got offended and going to still be offended from what it is. In order to truly reach that level, there is a sense of compromise. The elite owns everything. Do you know out of all the TV and radio stations together, only three corporations own them all? And guess who they're linked to? You bet the elites, praise God. So don't think you're going to come on their station and you're not going to play by their rules. Oh, come on, somebody, because they're making you famous. Come on, somebody, they're bringing in that money, basically, right? Helping you bring it in, right? To reach the masses, the thousands. So don't think that compromise is not being real, because it is. Okay, so, first personal testimony. And I'm going to tell you, I had to pray before I get on here. I say, Lord, you're not playing. And I know I'm going to get backlash again. Woo! I just pray for me. Those that have an authentic prayer life, don't be praying for me, the ones that don't. 
<laughs> you can't pray for yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to that one. Bishop Noel Jones. My husband and I drove from Sacramento to go to his church. And we were having so many problems because uh, he has so many spirits on him. I, I just, I know I couldn't handle it by myself because I wasn't where I am now. And even if I was, I know I needed help. So we went to him. And it was so dry, the counseling and everything. And, I, and you know, I have good wisdom and sermon. I said, God, what's going on? And he was looking at my husband more than he was looking at me. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Just talk to God about it. And I sensed it. And I said, Lord, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not sensing. No, no. I, I, mm, this cannot be. I sensed it. And then I saw it. I said, Lord, how could it be? this preacher that is so powerful so intelligent have some kind of spirit that is not of God so then we finished we visited his church actually this year you guys it was January this year me and a couple of friends so I have witnesses I'm sitting up in there and I start putting a lot of oil on me I, I'm I'm serious I would not be tainted by anybody it doesn't matter even if I go to some a friend's house and I feel something I'm putting my oil on and I'm asking God God Cover me with blood of Jesus. Don't let anything enter in, but let virtue go out. Hallelujah to his name. And I'm sitting up in that place, and I'm not lying, you guys. It started breaking my heart. I said, okay, if I didn't want to call it out when he had ministered to me and my husband, I have no choice but to call it out now. So I knew then, earlier this year in January. So we went to his church. And, you know, I, they wanted to go. I really didn't want to go, but I heard God say, go. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to confirm something that you saw with your own eyes. I said, okay, God. And I'm telling you, I looked up and they had men twitching and I looked around and I say, okay, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but it seems to be a, a quite a number of gay people here. Not only were they were walking around like they owned the place. You don't hear what I'm saying. And I said, okay, Lord, they even had a own, their own special section, like in the middle to the right. I'm not kidding. So I'm, I'm putting all on me more so. Then they have a woman, she's worshiping to the left of me, but I, I see that spirit is a very demonic spirit. She kept staring at me, and I was like, come on, come come here, come come here, honey, come here, because I'll be looking for demons, come here. So I can cast that out of you, I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, go over protocol, I know it's not my church, but she looking at me like, oh, you had to see that, and she was dancing in a, a very um, seductive way. I said, this is a witch, Jezebel, I said, what is in this church, Lord? He said, oh no, you're going to see more. Then they started singing. It was unholy mixed with holy. And then they start putting the gay people to sing. I said, okay, wait a minute, okay. People, I, I'm going to be slow with this because I want you to understand how authentic the Spirit of God is. It's not about Deanna, Apostle Deanna. When the anointing trinkles, it trinkles from the head down. And that's even in a country. Why do you think our country is in a mess? Y'all not listening to what I'm saying. Get offended if you won't. I'm coming. Whoever is over that sanctuary, that business, that home, whatever spirit they have. And I went off again. I don't know what happened. You know when I say something things, I mean, I don't know. It just blank, blank just now. And I put my head down. I said, no, because I love him. I love Bishop Noel Jones, but I know what I saw. I said, That's why he won't marry that woman. Oh, come on. I just said it. In the click of the secret pastors that do what they do I'm sorry there it is Bishop Jackson and my best friends ask anybody you can google that <laughs> they've been rolling for years I've always loved Bishop T.D. Jakes I mean when I was 27 I first got ordained he was so powerful it would come through the room come on somebody it'll come through the TV y'all know what I'm saying no I like you don't understand what I'm saying they got some people my age hallelujah I mean the anointing was so heavy it would come through the TV I'd be running around the house by myself hallelujah Hallelujah. I, said, I even called him my spiritual dad at that time, even though I had never met him at that time. I ended up meeting him at Bishop Jones Church. What am I saying? When Bishop Eddie Lone got found out, it was going on way before then. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just going to say it. These famous preachers, some of them have a secret life. I don't understand it, but I know God explained it to me. It's a seduction. It's a sorcery that's high. And to be honest with you, it's so seductive. It feels so good to them. Better than a woman. Oh, come on, somebody. I hope y'all ready for me this morning. You don't hear me. God says it's like it's a euphoric. 
it's a spirit. Y'all don't hear me. That, that's why they get entangled. And I'm going to do a short usip on you. Okay. Women, we were made with a birthing com canal. So when you continually to have sex, hopefully with your husband, then you know how they, they use the word loose. The woman is getting loose. That actually happens. A man does not have a birthing command, a canal. He, he does have a womb, believe it or not. But it's so impacted upon. So when a man goes into another man, it actually feels like a virgin. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm a squeak. So what's happening is every time they're having sex, pretty much, he's, he's feeling like a, he's feeling way better than a woman, like a virgin. And now to couple with that spirit. Because that spirit is very seductive. That best spirit make it feel like this is the best sex I ever had. Oh, come on, somebody. This stuff is real. It's so real. I couldn't understand when Bishop Ellis left from under Bishop Paul Martin. Until rumors start flying about what's going on there. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm letting loose today. <sighs> praise God. Praise God. Bishop Charles Blake. Y'all heard the rumors. <laughs> Go to God. That's all I can say. It, you got to be ready now. Because one thing, we like to pray and we like to ask God, but then we don't like the answers sometimes. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you this. There are so many more that are undercover. They have wives, by the way. And their wives know. And I feel sorry for the wives. Because they're so in love and... and but what I question is, how could you not know that's not of God? Now I'm going to be so transparent, it's going to blow your mind. You know how I could talk about all this stuff? When I was married, my husband was a minister. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to believe what I'm getting ready to say. But I'm, I'm going to lie. I've never told anyone this. Well, I lie. One person. I told one person. Okay. So when, anyway, my husband used to have this guy over and... You know, I detected that he had a gay spirit on him. I was like, something ain't right. But I could never go outside and, you know, really conversate with the guy. So one day I got bold and I said, I'm going outside too. And, but what I did is I followed him. I didn't really walk with him. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Go with your wisdom and discernment. It'll guide you every time. And so I'm just observing from a distance. I'm like, I'm not the brightest person, but God, are they, what's going on here? And God said, you seeing just what you're seeing. And I was like, okay, no, 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 no. This is not happening to me because I'm Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm, I, I, I know I can pick up stuff. I didn't pick it up until I saw it. And then I asked God, I, I said, God, show me. So then when you come in the house, you know, I'm bold and crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. I say, um, what's going on? What you mean? And I attack so, you know, with the spirit, not violently. With the spirit of God, people have to start talking. He said, you know what? Something happened one time. I said, oh, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What you mean? Well, I needed some money. Y'all don't hear me how they rolling. I say, you did what? He never touched me again. I went to the doctor, made sure I was okay. Because I was scared. I said, I said, God, really? But I wasn't supposed to marry him anyway. So that's a whole other story. I'll tell about that later. But it hurt me. I said, God, are you? You serious what's going on with these men? God said, Deanna is a spirit. And it's a spirit that comes from the elite. It's a spirit that is old as Egyptians. It's, it's a spirit old as Solomon. Because believe it or not, Solomon was gay. Now, now th these are in other books. This is not your Bible. So don't say I'm misquoting. No, no, this is in Hebrew. This is in the scrolls. You, you know, if a Bible scholar would know what I'm saying. Whew. And so I know what I'm talking about personally. I was so hurt. Oh my God. I was like, you know, and that, and, and, and so I know how these women feel. They didn't want nobody to know because I'm a woman. That means I can't keep my man, my husband. So, because that spirit is so, it's strong. I'm telling you, it's strong. I, I knew something was wrong, but you know, I didn't really, but when I tapped into it, that was it. I was like, oh Lord, I got to divorce this guy. I said, God, is it okay? Yes, it was. Praise God. Cause I got to, I, 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 I can't deal with all this. This is not of God. Hallelujah. So, I'm telling you, there are so many more that sleeping with the enemy. Yeah, I'm saying it. Sleeping with the enemy. And I'm talking about just sexually. A lot of people are supporting the man in office, knowing that he's not of God. And, and you don't have to be a prophetic person to see that. Because of the fact, here's the deal. Anything 
that God hate are true Christians supposed to hate as well. Not the person. Understand what I'm saying. Not hating anybody. But if it's a devil, demon, warlock, you're not supposed to be. Come on, somebody. You're not supposed to be down with that. So what am I saying? Bishop Jakes and Reverend Samuel Rodriguez, they're really close with the president. How is it that you don't see who he is? How is it that you don't know who he is in the spirit? Somebody lying. Somebody lying. I'm telling you, people of God, this stuff going to all come out. You mark my words. This morning, God, I always pray before I come on here because I want to please God. I don't ever want to hurt anybody or say anything that is not of God, period. And I'm telling you, when God start calling names, I say, God, are you serious? Because I always ask for confirmation as an apostolic leader. I want the anointing to be authentic. That's what you need. You don't need me trying to get likes, get attention, get a name. Come on, somebody, hallelujah to his name. But I'm telling you right now, a lot of leaders that you don't even know of, they have wives. These, the elite make the, they have to. They have to have this secret sex club. All the rappers, they doing it. T.I., all of them. I'm, I'm, I know y'all don't want to believe it. They, they act all hard, but they bending over. That's a perverted spirit that's in Hollywood to the church wood. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's a spirit. I'm going to tell you where we at. As a church, let's pray for our men. I'm not trying to bash them or ridicule them on this video. Let's pray that God snatch them back. Hallelujah. I'm serious. That's what God want. That's what God want. That's what God want. So don't think I'm here trying to ruin somebody's reputation. But I'm going to tell you now, anything be found out about me, come to me and help me because I don't want to go to hell. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. A young preacher recently shared some stuff with me that will blow your mind. How they have these secret parties out in these big pretty houses in the country where nobody can see. The wives can't go. They think they're getting together to worship God. <sighs> they're playing with death. Don't y'all know that? And then their wives... How many of them might be affected? Do you understand this unnatural sex? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So I feel sorry for the wives. I feel sorry for them. Because that's a spirit. And from what I told, once you get caught up, it's like a drug. You know, and think about the women, how they're feeling. You know, as a woman, you want a man to want you. You don't want your husband to want another man. So a lot of people are hurting here. Don't think the children don't see it, but they ain't going to say nothing because... Daddy, just keep the money coming and just keep the lifestyle that we live. Hallelujah. And then you wonder why your children, oh, come on, somebody. And I knew something was wrong when Bishop Jakes allowed Tyler Perry to lay hands on him. That was never supposed to be. I, I don't care what y'all say. I don't care about him giving a million dollars away. I don't care. That was not of God. How can a perverted person lay hands on an anointed woman, a man of God? The devil is a lot of like people touching me. Come on, some. I'm, I might as well just tell the truth. I'm saying I'm perfect and all that. But I, I spirit is real. You can. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Fallen with Denzel Washington. You can just pass by somebody, and and, and the next thing you know, you're thinking weird. You're like, why am I thinking like that? And, and then God will replay it in your mind. This stuff is real. This stuff is so real. And I'm people who be, oh, I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to the backlash, right? God prepared me for this for years. I saw this in 1996, what I've been doing. As a matter of fact, I had a mentor. That's about it. It's not about God. ain't going to tell you to call like nobody. So I went to God again. I said, God, now, people say I'm wrong. Now, what's going on? Even just now. I said, God, are you sure? I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to do anything. I'm telling you what God say. And God does it out of love. God don't hate nobody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hope y'all listening to me. But if it was me, God would tell on me. Don't you understand? Because God is trying to save your soul. God is God don't care about your reputation. Only you care about that and that money and everything else that you have associated with that. But I'm telling you right now, the church is in trouble. Because all the leaders that you think that are so holy, they not. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Just, just go to God. And you wonder why young men are so turned out. And I and y'all get mad when I talk about the person in the White House. I'm telling you what God say. I know what I've seen. I, I've had an out-of-body experience. And yes, I'm way there personally for those that understand the prophetic. 
I went to the White House. I saw what they do. And ever since then, strange things been happening. Ask my friends. They thought I was crazy too until they saw it. They said, Deanna, is this really happening? Until my daughter saw it one time. Mom, is this really? Yeah, it was for y'all to see. Not for, I already knew what was going on because they don't like you talking about certain people, especially if it's true. I keep telling y'all. I've never got on these posts and just lie, just a lie. I say what God said, and then I confirm, I confirm things with God before I even get up on it, maybe twice, sometimes three times, because I don't ever want to do anything to hurt anybody, because I truly love people. You know, Jesus, my, Jesus is my role model. He had compassion, and he loved people back to life, and that's why I tell the truth, even in my life. If I ain't right, trust me, you can ask anybody, I've confessed that I I don't lie. I don't hide nothing. My way coming up to be an apostle, Deanna Dixon. I did some things that was, I'm not. Uh, that was not of God. I didn't lie about it. I said, "Yeah, y'all got me. Pray for me. Help me." We gotta stop lying as leaders too. Be transparent, but they're too scared because when nobody gonna follow me. No, they're not gonna follow you no more because they ain't supposed to be following you in the first place. You're supposed to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't follow me. Follow Jesus. Take the words I said and apply it to your life. But follow Jesus. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost been on me so heavy all this week. Oh, hallelujah. It's fire, Lord. I, Lord, Lord, Lord. I'm sweating so much, you guys. I got to get off of here. But I love you guys. God bless you. I don't mean any harm to any names that I may have called. I called. Um, I got to I gotta do what God said to do. And I'm always do it. And it's all out of love. I know it don't sound like it. But it is. We got to pray for our men people. I miss are all attacked, and, and I was saying it, it goes back as far as Egyptians. And believe it or not, this is also another way of worshiping Satan when you have anal sex. I don't know if y'all realize that. I'm gonna start putting that stuff back on Facebook so you can see. I mean, this stuff is a ritual. They do it uh, they, in, in Hollywood, they call the brotherhood the brotherhood, the sisterhood the sisterhood. The men sleep with the men, the women sleep with the women. Don't ask me how I know that. I'll tell y'all about that another video and that's gonna shock some of you because you're gonna be like oh she, she really coming out the box I'm gonna tell it all yes 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 so God bless you I love you this is Apostle Deanna Dixon pray without season season fast get in that word because these things are coming to pass martial law is coming to pass a lot of things are coming to pass and you're not going to be able to stand if you ain't strong in the word. Okay? So God bless you. It's all love. God bless.